up a little bit ago and um if you watched yesterday's vlog um one of my girlfriends came over last night to hang out for a few hours because Scott worked the night shift so she was actually here until close to midnight so I'm pretty tired right now um but she brought a little friend with her apparently she was just getting over a sore throat and like a stuffy nose and I think my immune system is just so low right now like I literally I started feeling it in my nose in my throat within like 30 minutes of her of her being here like that's insane like how do you get sick that quickly um so I woke up and I feel like full on like congestion and like sore throat so I just made this um organic throat coat lemon echinacea tea this stuff here <sighs> to see if that would help me because oh that sucks I don't want to be sick right now and I was supposed to go today for a play date for Addison and for me <laughs> with one of my girlfriends that I haven't seen in forever and I was really looking forward to that but I just text her like I I don't like being that person to like go somewhere and be like oh hey by the way I'm sick like I feel like it's a lot different once you have kids because you're possibly contaminating not only that person but like their entire family which can be so hard on that person and I feel like people that don't have kids don't get that um like my girlfriend that came over last night like I tell her anytime any one of us is sick and there's just like and she wants to come over and hang out I'm like all right I'm just letting you know like so and so is sick or has been sick it's getting over you're being nana. sick. Yeah, you're Nana. Um, so it's like contagion over here. Like, so come at your own risk. Like, you know, I always, always say that. Um, did you water? No. Um, <laughs> give you banana. I just feel like it's so much more respectful to like tell people than just like show up and be like, oh, hey, I'm getting over being sick or I'm sick. Like, because now I don't want to get him sick because when he has a sore throat, he is the worst. Like, he won't eat anything. He just cries the whole time because he can't swallow comfortably. And I text Scott that I think I'm sick. You want peel? You say, peel, please. <laughs> he's like, eh, eh. Um, And he texts me back that he's feeling like he's getting something. His, his throat feels scratchy. And we were chilling out on the couch right with like right where Scott's like blanket and everything is that he sleeps with so what's the matter what you eat this I'm not really sure what's wrong right now with you <laughs> so I'm just bummed out that I'm sick like like I would have rather her not come over not to be like I don't know mean about it I guess but like I don't want to I don't want to be sick and I don't want him to be sick and I don't want to deal with him being sick and I don't want to deal with Scott being sick and having no help over the weekend like because he's sick it just throws like all everything off of black like off schedule and it's so hard um I just wish people would recognize that and not come over sick or tell me so I'd be like mm, maybe another time like it was not crucial for her to come over last night anyways so that's my little vent um what are you doing you play with little people so I'm gonna drink my tea and then see how I feel I text my girlfriend that I'm supposed to have a play date with I told her that my friend came over last night and now I'm sick and I was like, I feel okay to go, but I wanted to let you know. So if you want to reschedule for next week, it's totally fine, which I totally would understand. And if it were me, I would um, reschedule. What's the matter? Um, so, and she has three kids to deal with. Don't and her worry, husband- Don't worry, I'll clean you up. <laughs> and her husband um, is gone a lot. So it's like just her. So when they're sick and it's just hurt really hard on her 
So I totally get if she wants to reschedule and I feel like it's totally necessary to let her know I'm I sick know. and not just show up sick. I but know. You know? That's his new thing. I know. I know. What do you know? Okay. Say I know. Okay. Did you call daddy this morning because you saw his picture on mama's text message and you kept pressing it until it called him? Or did you skip banana all over your bed? Uh oh. You better not be getting sick, little boy. Uh oh. I know. Uh oh. You got your banana all over the bed. You're not supposed to be eating in your bedroom, little boy. No, no. Mama messed up and brought you your food in here. She's been lazy. You like your Nana? Yeah, you love Nana, huh? You a little Nana head. <laughs> He's such a good boy. I texted my friend that came over last night to be like, "Well, I got your cold or your sore throat. Thanks." Uh -huh. All done? You're not all done. She needs to like see my message and respond soon though because I think she's trying to get all of our kids ready for school right now except for the little one um because I want to take a shower before we go if we do go and we're supposed to have a picnic so I don't have any food in the house because I still haven't gone to Trader Joe's so I would have to like go by and get food and we were supposed to meet at 9 15 so that doesn't give me very much time so Ow. she needs to let me know ASAP if I need to get ready to go Is that yummy? Come huh? and dance and come oh, how nice. Cover the cows so they're nice and warm. You have banana on your finger? Yeah, just rub it on your toy. <laughs> Can you draw your daddy a picture? I'm trying to call him and you're upset because you can't call him because mama keeps hanging up on you. And you just want to call daddy because you see his picture. Hmm. Watch trolls. Night night, sweet dreams, Mama loves you. Night night. Go sleepies. Alright guys, so as you can see, I just put Addison down for his afternoon nap. It's like 11.45. He usually goes down at 11.30, so it's a little past. He's starting to get whiny, but I just blow dried my hair. Um, and now I'm going to <sighs> try and do 10 million things. <laughs> I want to film an intro for my main channel, um, which means I need to put makeup on. I want to clean up the house a bit, and I want to watch the new This Is Us that just came out yesterday night. Um, and I think I'm going to start with that one because I'm kind of tired. I just had a Pepsi while I was doing my hair. Um, and I'm going to use this as my motivation. It's totally just going to make me more tired. Hey guys, so I'm super excited because I just got my Stitch Fix box delivered. So I'm going to do like, um... An unboxing for you guys I've been loving my stitch fix maternity boxes that I get they're so good and like I wear the clothes all the time um, I was super like bummed right now because I had like wanted to film um, a couple like intros and a video for my main channel while Addison was asleep and of course 
my neighbor is like blasting music and I can't film because I'll have that music in my background and I was just like really irritated and then I just had this delivery come right now and now I'm really excited. So I'm gonna zoom down for you guys and show you what I got. It's probably a good thing that I didn't film today because I'm like so puffy. I just watched the This Is Us for this week and of course I was bawling again um, because it was the funeral episode. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to do my filming on either tomorrow or Friday. So it's really annoying because I just wanted to get it done today. I don't know, maybe I'll do it once Scott gets home. Probably not because no, today's Wednesday, yeah, so I could do it when Scott gets home. But I do need to go to Trader Joe's, so we'll see. Anyways, let's zoom down. get this little um, pamphlet thing here it just says oh hello and then it has like a bunch of different like styling options for the clothes that they send you um, so those are always fun to look at and get some like style inspiration from and then this just has um, the pricing of everything that they sent me and how much it would cost if you were to get everything or whatever here is that mesh top she was talking about so this is the Andrew Mark performance top and this is really cute so I'm not sure if you can see but it's like me like a triangular mesh in the front and it's just like a really comfortable material what is this let's see 80 percent polyester and 20 percent spandex I seem to be really into polyester because this dress is like I think 80 no 95% polyester and I just like love the feeling of this on my body like especially like my bump um, when I'm pregnant it's just a really comfortable material this looks so comfortable I just don't know I think it will fit because my boobs are ginormous right now <laughs> because this is a size large and it looks pretty large but I think it actually will fit perfect <laughs> because of my bump and my boobs it might be a little kind of like an oversized tee which is always fun and comfy okay so next we have here this is the Emory Park Dulce neck detail knit top in light gray this is really cute too this is just like a really comfy, casual top, and I love when tops have this like crisscross detail. I have a burgundy top that's like a short sleeve t-shirt from Victoria's Secret that's like that, and I'm obsessed with it. I wear it all the time. Um, but this is like three-fourths sleeve. This is 98% rayon and 2% spandex. It's really, really soft. This is really cute. I like the print too. It's kind of like a checkery kind of print. It's really pretty. Very cute basic. Okay, next we have Olive and Oak Foray Hooded Knit Top in Burgundy. 
this is really really cute too it's um very very sheer so obviously i would have to wear a tank top underneath but this is like perfect because i requested a lot of lightweight clothing um because our winters here are 70 and 80 degrees in los angeles so it's not a typical winter they were sending me scarves and all this stuff and i was like i will never wear this because it is scorching out here so it's got a hoodie and a drawstring in the front and it's completely long sleeve it's a little bit high low this would be really cute to wear over leggings because when i'm pregnant i live in leggings okay even when i'm not pregnant i pretty much live in leggings this is really really cute though okay so let me tell you the pricing of everything so this one is 54 This one was 38. <clears throat> this one was also 38. All right, next item is called the T4T Monica Legging. Oh my gosh, these feel amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 88% recycled polyester. Hmm. Huh. That's pretty cool. This product is keeping plastic bottles out of landfills. So this is made out of recycled polyester. That's really cool actually. And it's 12% spandex. Um, these are really cute and they look super comfy. And they look like they feel super comfy. I requested more leggings because there's only one pair that I got in my last Stitch Fix, bo Stitch Fix box that I wear because Every other pair of leggings that I own is just not comfortable and those ones feel so comfortable and this feels exactly like those like leggings usually when I get home I still need to take them off because I'm just like I can't I feel trapped in, in them but the other leggings that I got um, they're Rune New York and they're Rune NYC um, I can sleep in them they're so comfortable and this feels exactly like those they feel a little bit they feel a little bit thicker I think but this is a really pretty gray. Goes with everything that I have gotten in my box. So these are 38, which is actually a really good price for leggings. The last thing is the 41 Hawthorne Chaplin Lined Hood and Rack. Is that what I'm saying? And a rack jacket in burgundy. This one is $94. This is really cute. I don't know if you guys can see the lighting in here. It's like awful. It's so cute. It's got like a hooded top. It's got these little like drawstring things here. A zipper and then buttons over. Lots of pockets, a cinched drawstring waist. That's really, really cute. I like this a lot. And it goes up like it can cover your whole neck to keep you warm too. That would be really cute to wear because it's not like super hot. So like the mornings when it's cold, this would be perfect to put on. To just run out the door. So cute. So this, I said, was 94, so all together, um, it comes out to 262, and then if you buy all of it, you get 25% a discount, so it takes away 65.50, so the order, would, and then minus the styling fee that I already paid, which was $20, for everything, it would be 176.50, which, that's pretty good for all of that stuff. And I think I might be keeping everything in this box because I really, really like it. Every single article of clothing that they sent me this time. Every other box I've sent back one or two items. And this is my third styling box for the maternity line. And I feel like I've gotten really good at describing what I want exactly and telling them like my style. And I made a Pinterest board. And I think they have finally got me down to a T. Like, I'm really, really excited about this box, and I want to try all of this on. This turned my day around because I was really bummed out 
about not being able to film my videos because of the music. That's why it's so dark in, right now because I don't want to film in the bedroom because the music is just way too loud. <sighs> Dealing with annoying ass neighbors is a pain in the ass. But Addison's still asleep, which is good because now he's in his bedroom, which is on the other side of the house, on the opposite side of where they are. So it's quieter. <sighs> Thank God. All right guys, here is the first outfit. I'm sorry if you can hear the neighbors there. I don't know what they're doing, but this is the mesh top. And then these are the leggings. These leggings are so comfortable, you guys. And they would be like perfect, I think, still after I'm pregnant to wear. Like, I feel like they're so flattering. I think these are so cute. I just think this is a really cute outfit overall. Sorry, my roommate is a, is a disaster right now. I'm trying to go through all of my clothes. But this is what it looks like. I kind of don't love that this top is so short because as I get a little bit bigger, it's gonna like be like this. Um, I don't think that I don't think that any of these clothes are actually maternity. I think that these are all just regular clothes, but I'm in my third trimester now, so I don't know if they're maybe trying to give me more stuff that I can wear um, post delivery also, because I'm not gonna be pregnant for very much longer. Um, but I really, really, really think this is a cute outfit. This shirt is really comfortable too. And I really like this this V with the mesh right here I think it's really cute it gives it like a little bit something this is a little outfit suggestions like one and two and I actually really like everything on their little suggestion board like I wish that you could order these outfits like this ja this floral jacket is so cute like that backpack like this whole thing is just both of them are so cute like I would wear both of those Okay, so the next thing I'm trying on is this Dulce shirt, and these are the outfit suggestions for that. This is really, really comfortable. I love this neckline with the little crisscross. It's three-fourths sleeve, so it's not super hot. It's really lightweight, and it covers the bump, and it covers like partial, partial booty coverage. I think this is really, really cute too. And once again, this is something that I would totally be able to wear after the baby as well. So here are suggestion outfits for this third top I'm trying on. It's the Foray hoodie knit top. Really, really cute. And it's super comfortable. Completely covers the bump, crotch, and booty coverage so you got a full 360 coverage here so like I mentioned when I was unboxing this is completely sheer so you can obviously like see my bra right through it so I would wear a tank top over it um, but I think this is really really cute I love this color I love burgundies and deep colors um, I feel like it's really flattering for my skin tone and my dark hair um, I don't really do as well with pastels but this is a really cute outfit I think Okay, the last thing is the Chaplin lined hooded and nork anorak, whatever jacket. And these are the outfit pairing suggestions. And I don't think I showed you the one for the Dowerty Performance Mesh Detail Top. Like, this is my style, like, just like workout clothes 24 7. Alright, so here is the jacket. It's really, really cute. I feel like it's really flattering because it has the cinched waist, which kind of makes it so you don't look so huge when you're pregnant. And I just think it's so cute. And there is a hood. So if you wanted too. You could have a hood if it was like raining or snowing or whatever. So super cute. And it covers 
the booty, which I always like. What did Daddy get you? A sticker? Did he get you a sticker that says beans? Da da da. Uh huh. Ma ma ma. Yeah. Da da da. Uh huh. Da da da. Yeah. Is that yours too? Mama, open it. Do you need a spoon and fork? Hmm? Wow. Wow. Daddy got you so much yummy foodie. Let's see. No utensils. Hold on. Let me go get one.